Thank you. You do the baby? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you don't have a baby. Good morning, y'all. Before we get into this, I need to, I need some caffeine. I need to make my pre. Hold on. All right, Tuesdays for me is a cycling day. And so, this is a new, brand new pre. Woo, woo. Um, let's try not to spill it all over. But Tuesdays for me are usually a cycle day um, as far as my workout goes. I'm, I've been trying to cycle at least twice a week to show myself that I can use the bike that we already have consistently. Um, because Beachbody did come out with a new bike um, and it's similar to like Peloton where it's just a stationary cycle bike and I want it but I don't want to buy it until I can be consistent with the one we got <laughs> so um help you buy that bike during quarantine um and it stood in the corner most of the time I don't even know if he rides it um and so I've been really consistent twice a week riding our cycle bike mm. sorry <laughs> and um yeah I've been really consistent with it my mom already has the stationary bike that I do want and so when we go there for Thanksgiving uh Thanksgiving is this week and when we go there I'm gonna try it out and I can't wait I'm gonna do a Thanksgiving ride and so but today is a cycle day I'm gonna cycle and after I cycle I'm gonna do a, a workout later with weights so I am currently 11 weeks 12 weeks what's today Tuesday I'm 11 weeks six days I think I don't feel like getting my phone out maybe I'll show you later in the vlog but I'm 11 weeks um six days until said otherwise <laughs> um and so i've been really behind and don't mind oh, had hair um don't mind this week it's gonna be a hat day it's gonna be a hat day usually i would like you know put some foundation on the hairline but that's just not gonna happen today was it good uh, no well you you ate it all <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna do a little makeup today. I feel like getting ready. I've been using uh, the Fly Lady Hi. method for cleaning. I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with her, but oh, that's a lot. Um, <laughs> the Fly Lady, and I probably should have brought a mirror. We'll see how this goes. Um, the Fly Lady method of cleaning she doesn't like cleaning in zones but her morning routine is to make the bed get dressed from you know head to toe even that means putting on shoes like you're going you know like you have a work day um and it i used to do this a while back i don't know if it was beginning of my stay-at-home mom journey um or before that i think it was before that but i used to do this method of cleaning for my house some time back and i kind of fell off but it works so well y'all should see my house right now it is spick and span and so it works so well for me and so i'm starting it back up but one of her things is to get dressed to actually feel you know even though you're not going anywhere it's tuesday we have nothing going on today besides me working my business and that i do from home so um but let's get into these two week weight symptoms so these four weeks four weeks pregnant y'all and i feel like i'm gonna need a mirror hold on just kidding can't find the mirror either um <laughs> so i'm just gonna use my phone but i'm set it up on my pre four week pregnancy symptoms who week four pregnancy symptoms were like i would hit this is a lot Sorry, y'all. This is a lot of, of foundation on this little. Anywho, um, it was like I was hit with a with a pile of bricks. 
And I, <laughs> when people say that, like you feel like you've been hit with a pile of bricks, it sounds painful. This was not painful, more so than it was like, pregnancy just knocked me out like liter literally like I am a person who wakes up usually at around five or six in the morning like no later than like 6 30 7 o'clock and lately I have not I have not like it's just not been it's not been pretty um for my morning routine I have not had a morning routine for the para like it doesn't feel like a routine like i feel like everybody has a routine but my my routine doesn't feel like it should because of the fatigue and i was just so tired and still am it's 8 51 right now we we got out of bed at eight o'clock today so that just tells you like it has not slowed down in regards to the fatigue. But I will say, and I'm getting makeup on my hair. I didn't even be clips downstairs. Um, you know, guys, we're just, we're just going with the flow here. Okay. When, um, around the mid, like eight weeks, eight or nine weeks, it did kind of let up in regards to like, it felt like heaviness. Like there was just this really heavy blanket on me that I could not lift. <laughs> and it was all day. It was mainly all, it was like almost all day. And just not, I just couldn't get up. And I would get up, get the babies up, get them breakfast and things like that. Hubby would help out a lot. He still does help out a lot when he's home during the day um because he is home we are, we are blessed to be working you know our own businesses and kind of making our own schedules and so he is home um a good a good portion of the day on some days and so he did help out a lot during those times where i just like was i literally was melting into the couch y'all <laughs> melting into the couch the babies um probably watched baby shark 80 million times no exaggeration probably a little bit of exaggeration probably every day of the week they were watching it um the movie baby shark the movie on netflix y'all the hour-long movie and i would be on the couch and like i know the movie by heart and ava does too <laughs> so and i will still um she'll still request the movie and i just can't anymore but she goes Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and I just can't. I can't. I can't with it. Um, this, this is a lot of makeup for today. I'm not even doing anything, y'all. Okay, so week four pregnancy symptom number two. So number one was fatigue. Lots of fatigue. Number two was bloating. Ugh. Lots of bloating. And I knew, like, I mean, I already knew I was pregnant, obviously, because we took a test, but... I know it was all pregnancy bloating because your girl had abs <laughs> once upon a time. Is it good? You done? Um, once upon a time, a few weeks ago, <laughs> I had some abs yeah. and now they're slowly dissipating um, and a bump is slowly coming in. Um, I still have like maybe the top portion of my abs, but that's how I knew like, here we go. The realness is coming in regards to just like the bloating and all that good stuff you okay yeah yeah i think we've caught something yeah just a little cold hopefully we can get over it before we go on vacation um because we need it we haven't been anywhere since august bloating fatigue oh some cramping now with my other two those ones right there i had lots of cramping in the four week um like i can remember having cramps during the four weeks with this one i really did not have a lot of cramping um with the within four weeks i didn't really even have a lot of cramping after four weeks um so i found that not odd i mean cramping 
I had some, like some twinges, but not necessarily anything like anything remember like memorable. <laughs> so I had like twinges or pulling, kind of like just implantation cramping, because that's what it usually is in four weeks is implantation cramping. Um, just the baby just nuzzling in, nuzzling in very nicely. Um, but that's it. Four weeks. I feel like there was one more thing. Bloating, fatigue, cramping, nausea. Oh my goodness, how could I forget because it's still here. Uh, nausea, and nausea has not left. Nausea is getting on my nerves. And they say it. it's, uh, you know. Hey, man, you getting up here? You gonna chew your waffle? They say, it, they call it morning sickness. And like, that is a lie. Why? I don't even know why they do that. Why they call it morning sickness? Because it lasts all. Like if you ever talk to any pregnant woman, nausea lasts all day. Like it doesn't just start in the morning, and sometimes it doesn't start in the morning. Like right now, I'm good. I'm good until I eat. <laughs> I'm good until I eat, and so I try to eat something really light. Like I'm gonna have today. The special today is half of Sanai's waffle because she's just not been eating a whole waffle. So I cut her waffle in half. And I'm gonna have half of her waffle with some almond butter on top. Yum. Either almond butter or Nutella. I should probably choose almond butter. And so um, that's what I'm gonna have for just like a breakfast, not a breakfast. Like I guess you can call it like, cover your mouth. Remember? <laughs> breakfast. We're gonna call it breakfast number one. Please don't lick my bag. Um, yeah, we're gonna call it breakfast number one. Because I'm gonna just I'm I'm gonna need it before I get on that bike and start cycling. Um, but those are my four weeks pregnant sim pregnancy symptoms. Week four, pregnancy symptoms. Not anything too crazy <laughs> the just the usual four week pregnancy symptoms i feel like those are pretty standard um i did not throw up and if you're wondering and i don't usually throw up with any of my pregnancies with them i did not have any episodes of throwing up i did have a dream oh <sighs> four weeks vivid dreams oh you want some of this yeah. okay hold on Vivid dreams was not putting anything on there. Let's do your eyebrows. They're already perfect. Oh my goodness. So pretty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, and so vivid dreams is another thing. So uh like I said, I didn't have any throwing up, just the nausea, but even that is like really annoying because you just like it, you feel like if you would throw up, it would feel better. But then again, you don't want to throw up because no, I, no one likes throwing up. Anywho, vivid dreams. I've been having the most vivid dreams. And when I say vivid, like it feels like, and that's why, that's probably why I'm really tired because I feel like I'm running for my life. Not necessarily going for my life in my dreams, but I feel like it feels so real that I'm tired like of my I'm tired when I wake up because I just feel like I was actually there in my dreams and I never went to sleep. Sorry, that sounded a little like intense, but that's what it felt. That's what it felt like, y'all. That's what it's been feeling like. And it's been every day. I've had vivid dreams every day sometimes i wake up and write them down um to kind of see like the ones that aren't as morbid <laughs> um because some of them have been like okay this is too much L lord <laughs> god <laughs> please take these dreams and so every night i've been having to Every night I've been having to, um, this is just a wig y'all. It's not like a sewing or anything. We just gonna plop this 
back on and we are done for the day um oh would you like some would you like some makeup ma'am mm. we're gonna do ava's makeup and we're gonna talk about these dreams um ma'am you have a little bit of yogurt on your face can we maybe wipe that off before we get started yeah hold on all right what's what uh type of look are you going for yeah okay um and so the vivid dreams have just been out of control and so what i've been doing at night is praying <laughs> praying specific like me and my husband and i pray in bed um before we go to sleep but i always i always have to put an addendum at the end of my prayers um or and now hubby has actually been remembering to pray over my dreams and so um when he's like the one praying um let's see let's do this <gasps> wow and then i don't use this side of my brush y'all <laughs> and that oh i remember what i forgot i forgot my yeah. mascara Ooh, your mama no needs to go to um the store and get some new makeup because y'all this makeup is like 80 years old if y'all haven't noticed like in any of my vlogs or in all of my vlogs i use 80 a lot as an exaggeration i don't know why i've al always used the number eight to exaggerate what i'm going through <laughs> anywho i forgot to put mascara on let's see if i can do it a hat oh okay i can't do it with a hat you want mascara too okay hold on i got i got a mascara just for you here you use that one it's my eyebrow brush. A lot of people are okay. I can't do this. Here I am not a beauty influencer, but I am a mom who doesn't care. Or maybe I do, or I wouldn't be putting on makeup. Okay, bear with me, y'all. Okay, I can't do this. <laughs> Head hair again. <laughs> um, are you done with yours? Are you done with your eyelashes? Um, so yeah, we've been praying the armor of God over my dreams because I had a dream that I left Sanai in the gas station, y'all. And I was traumatized when I woke up. And I just went and I just went and hugged her for like five minutes straight. And she was probably like, what are you doing? Take me to the potty. Okay, wanna end with some lip gloss? Lips, we need to do our lips. Okay, let's do our lips. Okay, here you take some. Okay, don't dig too hard. On your lips, on your lips. We have Vaseline, y'all. <laughs> Not real lip gloss. I don't know the last time I bought lip gloss. The last time someone bought lip gloss for me for Christmas and it broke my lips out. Um, those little EOS balls, I think they're called EOS. Those break my lips out too. So I just use straight up cocoa butter or your mama's Vaseline. You wanna say bye bye, we'll see y'all later? <laughs> and we're back we're actually about to do an activity you say yay, yay. <laughs> and so what we have here is some rolls um so these are toilet paper rolls the small ones are toilet paper rolls and then uh -oh. this is a paper towel roll that i cut um kind of in half You'll see why in a minute. So these are going to be two baby turkeys that the babies are going to make. They're going to make baby turkeys. And then this is going to be Dada turkey and Mama turkey. <laughs> so that's why I made them different sizes. Whoa, um, so we're going to make turkeys. And so Mama, of course, brought out her craft box. You would think that I was like a preschool teacher or an arts and craft teacher or something like that. I have a lot of arts and crafts, like a lot. 
I used to do drawings and like arts and crafts just like on my own free time as a single woman and so yeah paint we're not going to use paint today okay we didn't bring paint activities today um and so like I have yarn I have like random uh what are these called pipe cleaners lots of paint and lots of cardboard who has this many sharpies in different colors like Y'all. Okay, so we're gonna make uh, turkeys, <laughs> but we're going to listen to some kids' bop Christmas music while we do it. And <laughs> so I'm going to see y'all when the turkeys are done. <laughs> when the turkey is finished cooking. <laughs> time for the prayer line I'm also taking y'all you know, kind of in a day in the life of a pregnant entrepreneur because I do this every day in regards to my business I you know I'm a one-man show so everything that you get from me every purchase every uh, product I have made on my own <laughs> and so um, I don't have a team of any or anything in regards to mother mindset I do have a team of beach body coaches but I don't have a team of um like like a graphic designer or anything like that that's me <laughs> i am the team <laughs> for that so um i actually am about to jump on the prayer line i would usually put the his phone is so loud <laughs> i would usually um let me hop on the prayer line real quick so i can hear these prayer requests come to my one number and there's the Abby. All right, God bless you, Sister Abby. God bless you. You done with your snack? What I was saying is that during this time, I usually put the babies down for a nap. Um, <laughs> They're about to go down for a nap in a little bit. Um, and then I would do work. But on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, okay. I pray on the prayer line. And the prayer line's between 11 and 12.30. And so I won't start work until 12.30. Um, so later. Now I usually would on Monday and Wednesday. Now, prayer line's over. It is 12.45. I'm gonna do a little work, but um, I'm first going to, so usually when I start working, I like to check my emails or messages first to see if there are any um, like client or coaches that need like my attention in regards to like questions answered and things like that. So I do have one email. Oh, oh I got three. No, I just have one email um in regards to a fertility consult and then i am actually talking to one of my coaches via text um about her business and so i am going to do that answer emails check my or answer text and then i have a list of things to do not a list i write down the three i write down three things that i want to accomplish for the day um and like three things and like three things for business and then three things for my home so for example today's home list is pack the pack the girls um uh, because it's thanksgiving week we're going um to visit family so pack their bag pack my bag and do laundry i have to first do laundry because some of the laundry that I, that I need to do has to go in my bag. Anywho, uh, pack the girls, pack my laundry, and pack or and do laundry. And so 
the three tasks that I have written down for my business is one, vlog. <laughs> so check, <laughs> vlog. Um, two, I have to edit and proofread my um, newest product, the 21 day meal plan. Um, I posted about it in my last vlog, I talked about it, um, but it's a 21 day meal plan for um, hormone balance and weight loss, but it's a faith-based meal plans for mamas and future mamas. So um, it includes a lot of things I'm going to, and I was actually showing my husband what it all included and like going through it with him. And he was like, yeah, you need to be charging more. So, so if you have not already, go grab the 21 day meal plan. I'll link it down below because hubby says I should be charging more for it. So the price will probably most likely go up in December. So um, it has um, goal planning, meal planning tips, planning budget tips, cooking tips, food list, beverages, breastfeeding considerations, uh, you know, what the Bible tells about us about our bodies, seven habits of a healthy lifestyle. Plus it has a daily faith challenge to go along with the 21 days. So it's 21 scriptures and journal prompts to help you along your journey through this 21 day meal plan. Um, and then of course it has the 21 day meal plan week one, two, and three uh, laid out for you, right? Laid out for you. All you gotta do is the grocery shopping and follow the plan. Um, and so then it has also a tracker to go with it. Uh, and let me tell y'all, <laughs> Oh, and it has a bonus for the first 100 people to purchase the um, to purchase the meal plan. It has a bonus, and the bonus is a 21 day fat loss challenge, which is a set of workouts to do over the 21 days. And so, it, some of okay, so we use a rendition of this plan. I tweaked it a little bit to help with hormone balance in women, um, but we've done a rendition of this plan. Um, before with my husband's business, Third Generation Fitness, and I added a lot of things to it. So with his business, we just had the meal plan and that's the meal plan and the workouts and that's it. So I added a lot of the faith um, bits to it and planning tips, meal planning tips and things like that. And so with that said, even just with um, the 21 day meal plan and the 21 day exercise challenge, his, the clients that he had do this plan, like have lost like up to 10 pounds in the three weeks. I'm excited for this because you guys obviously wanted it um, because I asked you guys, what do you want to see next? And a meal plan is what you wanted to see. And so I, I liked, I don't want to just give y'all a meal plan, right? But I want to give you <laughs> something that's going to help, right? Help you in your overall life in regards to faith and your fitness. So um like i said i'll put the disc or the um the link to the description down below or the link to the meal plan down below and like i said it's going to go up in price so you want it you should get it now <laughs> because it will go up um so i have to edit and proofread that today and i would do i want to do that twice so i want to edit um and proofread right now and then later on tonight I'm going to edit and proofread again um, so that I can just have two, like two eyes, not two eyes, because it's just a one set of eyes. <laughs> but I want to look at it twice to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, and then the third thing I want to do is a Thanksgiving email um, and just basically saying, hey, happy Thanksgiving to you all. Um, and that will be just via um, my emails. Um, that I, the email service that I use and that's it for my three things that I want to do for my business today and so one is already checked off I'm going to edit and proof my meal plan right now and then I'm going to go and do my email so but first I need to answer these questions from my clients so I'll talk to y'all in a little bit <laughs> so I just finished um editing and going over and proofreading the 21 day fat loss challenge which is the exercise portion the bonus um the bonus exercises and now i'm supposed to go through my 21 day meal plan and go ahead and 
go ahead and make sure that I um, proofread this. And so I've just, you know, got to proofread through the pages and do all of that good stuff. So this is where I left off, like on page two, y'all. <laughs> All right, I just finished my um, proofreading of my 21 day meal plan, but I need a little snack. And then after I eat this snack, I'm going to go ahead and send out an email and then I'll be done with work work today until I edit later or until I proofread later. But I made granola yesterday y'all fire fire didn't add it to the meal plan but i should have <laughs> um because i just created this recipe yesterday mm. look at that mm. can y'all see that mm. oh so good you made a little bark a little chocolate bark it's so good. Mm -hmm. Baby needed a snack. Um, but there's honey, raw honey. What else is in here? Dark chocolate, raw honey, oats, raisins. What else did I put in there? Protein, vegan protein. So a little protein bar. So good, toddler approved. Hubby's outside raking the leaves because, y'all, look at our neighbors looking today like this morning. Do y'all see the mountains of leaves over there? Look at the mount mountains of leaves and look at our leaves. <laughs> we need to look, we need to race, so he's out there. Mm. Dark chocolate is so good. I wasn't expecting it to like turn into like a chocolate bar, but that's what it tastes like. It tastes like a a chocolate bar with raisins and oats in it. It's basically what it tastes like. Cause it, I put the chocolate chips in there and as I poured the honey in it, because I, I the raw honey that I get is solid. And so I had to put it, I don't know why I'm talking to y'all like this. <laughs> I had to put the honey into the microwave because I don't buy the honey that's already liquid about the solid honey. So I had to put it into the microwave. And so when I poured the honey into the mixture, it melted the chocolate. And it was a very delightful surprise. <laughs> it's so good. I'm about to create this email to go out to my email list just say happy Thanksgiving and also reminding you all of the, what do you call it? What happens after Thanksgiving? Black Friday sale. Um, and actually I've been doing a Black Friday sale all month called Blackout. So the code for my shop website for my printables is shop.mothermindset.com, but the code is Blackout. Um, and so if you use that code, you get special discounts on my usually not discounted um, devotionals and um, different things that I have on my website. So happy Thanksgiving. Blackout is still alive. Hey sis, this is how I start my emails. Hey sis, 
I surely hope that you have an amazing Thanksgiving. And so now that I have it all typed up, just something short, simple, um, I go in and I add links to my text. <sighs> that has been playing for probably the past hour and I didn't even notice it. Um, the babies are in the room. I just came back here to put on, hold on, Coco Melon is playing. No. Guess what we're about to watch for the 80 millionth time. Watch, Sissy gets to choose because you have chose last time. We're watching Baby Shark. Yeah. Yeah. Ava doesn't want to watch Baby Shark. She wants to watch something else. But we've been watching what, you, what Ava wants to watch for a really long time. It's it's not a nice turn to try to pick. Is that okay? Um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. But I'm about to. While we listen to. Uh, while we listen to Baby Shark. Do 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 do. Ma'am, um, while we watch this movie, yeah, uh huh, we're going to Nana. No, no, please stop. <laughs> pack. I'm going to pack. That's what we're going to do. And so here's their toiletry bag. Where I put like toothpaste and toothbrushes. And then here's their, their cute little duffel. I think we should be okay with a duffel bag. We'll be going for, ma'am, you gonna mess up the, okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, well you just turned it off. <laughs> We're gonna be gone for a couple days. One, one, two, Three, three days that's it three days and come back on the fourth day okay so maybe duffel bag should be okay for three outfits um because they don't really have accidents like that and so i do always pack extra of course um and where are you going where are you going yeah i gotta i gotta put clothes in it and it's pretty spacious in there um, if you're wondering where this is from, I put it in a different vlog because I'm totally, I'm not completely sure right now where it's from and can't find a tag. <laughs> I don't remember y'all. It's in a vlog, another, another, it looks more like a travel vlog. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna close out this vlog, and I don't even know how long this vlog is, but I hope you enjoyed this um, four weeks pregnant with symptoms, four, four weeks pregnancy symptoms, and day in the life of a pregnant entrepreneur. Entrepreneur mom. Can you say entrepreneur? Can you say entrepreneur? No. Ava, can you say day in the life? Day in the life. Of a pregnant, pregnant. entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. <laughs> mom. Can you say mom? Okay, she just hit play. All right. <laughs>